Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. Our High Calling, a devotional by Ellen White. April 13th, the influence of mind on mind. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Second Timothy 1 verse 7. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Second Timothy 1 verse 7. The Influence of Mind on Mind For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. The influence of mind on mind, so strong a power for good when sanctified, is equally strong for evil in the hands of those opposed to God. This power Satan used in his work of instilling evil into the minds of the angels, and he made it appear that he was seeking the good of the universe. Cast out of heaven, Satan set up his kingdom in this world. And ever since, he has been untiringly striving to seduce human beings from their allegiance to God. He uses the same power that he used in heaven, the influence of mind on mind. Men become tempters of their fellow men. The strong, corrupting sentiments of Satan are cherished, and they exert a masterly, compelling power. Clear spiritual eyesight is needed to distinguish between the chaff and the wheat, between the science of Satan and the science of the word of truth. Christ, the great physician, came to our world to give health and peace and perfection of character to all who will receive him. His gospel does not consist of outward methods and performances through which the science of an evil work may be introduced as a great blessing, afterward to prove a great curse. In the second chapter of Philippians is found a presentation of true godliness. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 2 verse 5. To advocate the science of mind cure is opening a door through which Satan will enter to take possession of mind and heart. Satan controls both the mind that is given up to be controlled by another and the mind that controls. May God help us to understand the true science of building on Christ, our Savior and Redeemer. Christ is the greatest of all physicians. He is a physician of the soul as well as of the body. Had he not come to this world to redeem us from Satan's hellish power, we would have had no hope of gaining eternal life. Let us not point minds to erring human beings. Let us say, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. John chapter 1 verse 29. Our High Calling, April 13th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.